Hello everyone, this will be a short video showing some of the photos I have managed to take of the planets and some deep sky objects. Hope you all enjoy. Before we get started, let me show you which tools I have used in order to take some of these photos with a light polluted sky. So, the telescope I have used was the Nexstar 130 SLT from Celestron. This is an average telescope but the automated tracking mount helped me a lot and spared me a lot of time. For the camera, I used a Canon EOS 700D, attached to the telescope with a T-ring adapter. However, to get to focus on anything really, I had to use a 2x Barlow lens. The problem of using this was that the amount of light received was also reduced by the Barlow lens. But I had to use it, otherwise I would have to modify the telescope mirrors or buy a new camera. Also, some of the photos were taken with a smartphone instead of a camera. The phone worked well for planets but not so good for deep sky objects. The phone used was my personal Galaxy S10e attached to eyepieces with phone adapter. Now that you know which tool I have used, let's check out my results. By the way, the photos were shot in a city, that means that the skies have high light pollution level. But I could get some photos anyway by stacking many light frames. Here are some photos I've taken of the Orion Nebula. None of these were well focused unfortunately, but I managed to sharpen the image using photo editing software such as Adobe Lightroom. This is the only nebula I ever photographed in almost one year. Now for some planets. Here's a great photo of Saturn I've took. Actually it was the only photo I ever took of Saturn with a telescope. The image is a result of stacking many single rames of a video. I have that video in my channel. Jupiter I didn't get the big red spot unfortunately, and the image is not so crisp, perhaps I will get better photos in the future and share them here. Mars, the last planet I photographed, the image was not very good neither, even though I shot it during the planet's opposition. The Whirlpool Galaxy, or M51. This was taken using the smartphone but the result was better than I expected. I also photographed another galaxy, known as the Cigar Galaxy. I did manage to see both M81 and M82 with the eyepiece at the same time, but only managed to capture this one with the smartphone. I will stop here, but I actually took some other photos but I think they are not sufficiently good to be shown in this video. Those photos were from the Andromeda Galaxy, the Hercules Globular Cluster, the Bear Hive Cluster, and some more. I also took some photos of the Milky Way but that's not with the telescope therefore they have no place in this video. I hope you liked at least one of these. These were took during my first year of experience and I hope I will get better and post some more photos. Thank you.